For years, Windows was just the default, not because everyone loved it, but because it came pre-installed. Most people never questioned it. They just adapted to whatever Windows decided to be that year. But in 2026, something shifted. Quietly, steadily, and very clearly, more people started walking away. Not because Linux suddenly became trendy, not because Windows completely collapsed, but because everyday users finally reached a breaking point. When people talk about leaving Windows now, the first thing they mention is control, or more accurately, the lack of it. Updates that install when you are in the middle of work, features added that you never asked for, settings moved, renamed, or hidden after every major update, and a system that feels more like a service watching you than a tool serving you. For a lot of users, Windows no longer feels like their computer. It feels rented. At the same time, hardware requirements kept creeping up. Perfectly capable machines were suddenly labeled unsupported. Systems that ran fine a few years ago now struggled under background processes, telemetry, and services nobody explicitly enabled. That frustration is where Linux quietly steps in. In 2026, Linux is no longer the scary terminal-only thing people remember. Modern Linux desktops look familiar, they feel fast, they run comfortably on both new and older hardware, and most importantly, they stay out of your way. People notice the difference immediately. The system boots faster, fans spin less, RAM usage stays low, the computer feels responsive again even on hardware Windows considers outdated. Another big reason is stability. On Linux, updates do not randomly reboot your system, they do not change your desktop layout overnight, and they rarely break things without warning. You update when you want, how you want, or not at all. That sense of predictability matters more than people realize. Privacy is another turning point. In 2026, users are far more aware of data collection than they were a decade ago. Windows increasingly ties basic features to online accounts, cloud services, and background synchronization. Even when disabled, many users feel like they are constantly opting out instead of opting in. Linux flips that model. By default, it does not track you. It does not require an account. It does not phone home to function. What runs on your system is visible, inspectable, and optional. For creators, developers, and technical users, the switch often starts for productivity reasons. Linux handles development tools natively. It runs containers, virtual machines, and servers without extra layers. It feels closer to how computers were meant to work. But what's interesting in 2026 is that non-technical users are switching too. Students, home users, office workers, even small businesses are moving over, not because Linux is perfect, but because it's predictable, lightweight, and honest about what it does. Software compatibility used to be the final barrier. That barrier is much smaller now. Browsers, office tools, creative apps, and cloud platforms all work in the browser. Gaming has improved massively. And for many users, the few Windows-only apps they need can run in virtual machines or compatibility layers without replacing the entire system. So the switch is no longer dramatic, it's gradual. People install Linux alongside Windows, they test it for a week, then a month, and one day they realize they haven't booted Windows in a long time. That's how most switches happen in 2026, not with a bold announcement, just quiet preference. Windows isn't disappearing, it'll still dominate enterprise environments and certain workflows, but its grip on everyday users is weaker than it has been in decades. Linux isn't winning because it's flashy, it's winning because it's boring in the best way possible. It does what you tell it to do, and then it gets out of your way. For many people, that's all they ever wanted from a computer. And that's why in 2026, more users are finally making the switch.